Sub knife people back again with more of these knives. Start you off with a quick look at this hinderer, no flipper, XM18 3.5, 3.5, and battle green and working finish. M390, awesome knife with uh, substituted camo G10 scales on bearings. Awesome action. Love it. I've been carrying this uh, today. Uh, so, back again with more unboxings. A little more playful today with the backdrop. Just did the giveaway. So, just keep the, the cheerfulness going. I got, obviously, some more unboxings for you guys. And uh, you'll see when I open it uh, uh, why I think it's such a cheerful mood um, by the person who designed it. So, anyways... Uh, let's kind of get this going. This is uh, some Hanks I got from Gondek EDC. And I'm not going to slice this open, but here we go. So you guys can just check out some stuff. Oh, here. Sweet. What is it? Oh. So that's coming from Gondek EDC. Let's put that there. Let's see here. Check them out. Ooh, nice. I got a sticker this time. Sweet. A little G sticker, that's sweet. Thank you. And this is what I got some Hanks. These uh, are smaller, they're about 10 bucks each, and they come with the microfiber uh, for like glasses and stuff like that. So, really good. And I got, yep, Baby Yoda. So, I'll put that there for now. Where to put, put the, the camo up? And we got the Baby Yoda, you can kind of see it there. I also got, ooh, check this one out. Punisher, like that. And I got the Mando one, so, yep. I'm not a Star Wars buff, but my son likes the Mando, and so I got those anyways. I'm still good with it, and we'll use that eventually too. That one's sweet, like that. So yeah, go check them out, Gondek EDC. They also have pry bars and stuff. I think I showed it before. But let's get this other boxing, unboxing under wraps. This one comes from Knife Center. And that's it. Let's see what we got. Let's use the full uh, XM18. So, thank you, Hinder. There we go. Kind of forgot what I got here. It was more than just one thing. So, you know, there's all the popcorn. And here we go. We got the this and uh, so that's what I got. I got a flashlight and the rest of popcorn and no speakers. So I got this little Phoenix flashlight. Comes with a battery. Sweet. Double A, just thought it was real cool. I wanted another small flashlight, so that's what I got. But we're here to go over this knife in particular. This is the, for those of you that don't know, it doesn't have the name on it, but it is the CJRB. I hope I pronounce it right. The Swags knife. I think it was called the Malia. I thought it was Melee at first, but apparently it's Malia or something like that. Dedicated after her friend. Um, pretty cool little knife. Really bright red. Very compact. Um, really cool. Nice little red thumb studs. I like how the black contrasts the red. Um, 
Nice little jimping up there. Deep clip. Not recessed uh, screws uh, or into the scale, but still deep carry. It's a front flipper apparently, so let's check it out. Woo, nice little action. Really like that blade shape. Pretty sweet, kind of like a modified sheep's foot. Really cool. Obviously a really small knife, uh, about really three fingers the most. Um, designed by uh, Swags. So let me mention that first. Uh, not sure where she's been. Uh, I know she has a channel, kind of been MIA for a little bit. Uh, you know, I would have thought that if you come up with a knife, you put it on your videos or your channel, but not sure what's going on there, but leave for the community to pick up the slack. And she's been getting a lot of good reviews. I really like this blade shape. So if she designed it or had anything to do with it, thumbs up swag, swags. Really like that shape. Probably been one of the best shapes I've seen all year. So other than being on a small knife, I really like it. You got liner lock, so hopefully she comes out with her own review on her own knife. I definitely want to check it out. So just to kind of get her point of view on her own design. Centered, enough of that. Nice, nice flipper action. Really crisp. Easy to do. Definitely a fifth pocket carry for probably most men out there. <clears throat> Knocking things over here. Look, checks out, matches my Red Hulk. Yeah. So that's kind of why I had this little playful Mario background. Swags is a really uh, good personality. So really uh, glad to see that someone can, uh, in the knife community, can come out with their own design or have the opportunity. So yeah, I actually bought this knife with the original thought of giving it to my daughter uh, but now that I really realize it's a front flipper, it might be a little hard for her to use. So I might just be giving it to my wife or some uh, someone else that can, maybe my sister who could use it. But really nice. The red looks uh, girly, I guess. Nice red thumb stud. I like this one the best out of all of them. It just had the best contrast of color. So really cool. I like the way she did her signature on there. So really cool little knife. I like how they uh, kind of stonewash the hardware a little bit. Or it's not polished, polished. So really cool little knife. Let's get the specs on it since it took a while to examine it right now. So let's get this on the board check it out here see how really small it is so there we're looking at literally it's under six inches so about five and a half inches you got a cutting of two about two and a quarter and about two and a half all together handle length Literally got three inch grip. Let's see where it falls there. So really a small knife, but really cool design. Feels pretty comfortable for a small knife. So I think really good job. Really good job for uh, maybe a, a first time designer, I'm, I'm assuming. But let's give you some comparisons here. I already got these uh, sitting out here. This is the Civivia, uh, no, Civivia Odium, sorry. A little brain fart there. And what else do I got here? I got the Civivia Lamentum. So again, some more Chinese competition in the budget realm. So again, smaller than the Odium, a lot smaller than the Elementum. But apparently girls have small pockets, so that should be good. Should be good for the girls. 
get the odium out of the way and again hopefully you guys get get back to me on the drawing close that one and what else do i got here i only have my hinder here to put out i didn't really bring anything else out but just so you can kind of see the the size difference oh i got one more knife this is what i'm carrying on me it's a little sweaty there the para 3 spy 27 with denim micarta just so you get a quick little shot of how ridiculously small it is so yeah compared to the xm18 and the para 3 it's really small pretty cool but i like it really stands out really like the the blade shape on it pretty sweet pretty pretty sweet so yeah i'm digging it hopefully uh oops let me see here check the stock thickness on it seems pretty thick actually i got a new little ruler you can kind of see see how this works so we're going to measure in millimeters right here and it comes to you can see that it's right about three millimeters thick yeah right about three millimeters thick so it's very very thin i'm assuming like a 0.12 in inches uh, so really thin stock nice swedges and grinding there on that tip. I really like that. Really good. Here's the action. Now one thing we do too, let me get the weight. Let's get the weight on this bad boy. Oh. On the bad girl, we should call it. That would have been a good knife for the name. <clears throat> name for the knife, I'm sorry. So here we go, let's get the weight. Get that last stat out the way. So really light, 2.2 ounces. That's like almost nothing. So, so yeah, so good for swags. I'm glad she finally got her design out. Front flipper works excellent. Blade shape is excellent. I think she nailed it on the size, the colors, and hopefully it does good. I think so. I mean, most places are sold out. Like the natural g10 and the other one the black one i believe so a couple different colors cjrb did a good job good company so there we go really awesome very fidget friendly oh you can't flick it sweet it's a very versatile little flicking knife and uh it's coming pretty useful for a lot of people especially females if they get it so again, good job swags. I dig it for what it is. And hopefully you guys like it too. Go check it out. It's made by CJRB. Uh, I think it ran about 50 bucks, somewhere around there. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Again, go check out Gondek EDC too. We got a lot of stuff there going on. And uh, that's it contest i mean you know winners from the drawing get a hold of me and uh as always you like these knives those knives do that always and uh as always you guys know where to find me tell your friends tell your family and i'll catch you guys on the flip side have a good one